So the COVID-19 pandemic will absolutely change the future of medicine and specifically genetic medicine. Many other pandemics in the past have done similar things in advancing our healthcare because we want to be better to avoid these sorts of things from happening again. So the COVID-19 vaccines are in part uh, due to lipid nanoparticles, which are the nanoparticle that carries the mRNA into the right cells in the body, specifically immune cells, so that they can go about mounting that response to the COVID-19 virus. So lipid nanoparticles are a key component, and that's something that I've worked on together with my lab for over 15 years now to try to understand how to get mRNA to the right place. And so because of this pandemic, we're already developing new treatments for viral diseases. And because we now have had this success of specifically an mRNA vaccine, that's going to open the doors to many other types of uh, nucleic acid, DNA, RNA treatments because lipid nanoparticles are those vehicles that are responsible for taking those drugs into the cells. So in Fragile X syndrome, what happens is the cells in our body, specifically in the brain, they make low amounts of Fragile X protein or they make dysregulated Fragile X protein. With mRNA therapy, we have the power to give the right genetic code to these cells to make a functional Fragile X protein. And with that, the hope is we can either reverse Fragile X syndrome or we can inhibit uh, Fragile X syndrome. The plan is, since it's a two-year grant, in the first year, we are going to try and make sure we can synthesize the right mRNA to make this protein. And then we are going to, in the first year itself, try and develop the right lipid nanoparticle chemistry to make sure it can take this mRNA for fMRP to the right location in the body. And in the second year, our hope is to test this in different animal models of fMRP to make sure that we can either reverse or inhibit this uh, fragile X syndrome in animal models. So at the end of the project, we're hoping that we have this uh, animal model in which we've been able to increase the expression of the missing protein in Fragile X. And if we're able to treat the disease to some extent, what kind of regression, how much regression in the symptoms will we see with that? We were delighted when we got the news that uh, we'd be receiving these funds to try out the research. We are particularly grateful that Fraxa is willing to take a chance on us. And also that working with Mike and Katie so far has just been a great experience. They're very responsive. They want to help us. Um, and therefore, I think we're going to have the maximum chance of succeeding.